what we're looking at here today is, is a flooded almond orchard. And this is one of um, some initial experiments that we are conducting to figure out whether or not is this feasible to use agricultural fields uh, to recharge groundwater aquifers in California. We've pumped roughly 100 million acre feet out of the groundwater aquifers in the Central Valley. So that is, you know, a void that can be filled again. We have very well known groundwater depressions in uh, Sacramento County, more or less under every major city around Fresno, for example. Tolara Basin is known for having really, really depleted groundwater aquifers. So those all have room to take water again. And the idea is here that we want to divert uh, flood water in the winter when it's available from rainstorms and basically spread it over fields of ag over agricultural land and have the water infiltrate and then percolate to the groundwater table. The water that we're using today for this experiment is, is actually rainwater that's been captured by the Modesto Irrigation District in the, in the canal system. So normally this water would have just run through the canal system into the river and then out into the ocean. So you know, normally we would not be putting water on in the winter, but uh, obviously the goal here is to see if, if we can recharge groundwater. Um, and so we were assuming that since these trees are dormant, that the root activity is going to be minimal. And so having saturated soil conditions during this time of year hopefully will not be detrimental to the trees and so obviously we'll be looking at a lot of things to, to uh, monitor the tree health and uh, the, the tree flowering and the response this, this summer. Uh, my colleague uh, Professor Ken Shackle from the Department of Plant Sciences and uh, Professor Astrid Folder also from Department of Plant Sciences they are conducting some plant measurements so Astrid is looking uh, at root health. So she has, for example, installed special plexiglass tubes in the soil that allow us to take pictures of roots uh, that are growing in the soil. And then we can analyze those pictures and see if there is uh, no root growth or if there is uh, good root growth. And th those would be indicators whether or not the tree is, is suffering or is, is having some sort of stress. We have um, a stand here of almond trees. They are 17 years old. Um, almonds um, are now, I think, covering more than one million acres in the Central Valley. And so they are really a, a very important crop in California. Um, and we are hoping, uh, you know, because it's such a large acreage that we have, that we can maybe use some of those almond orchards to recharge groundwater in the future. The ideal situation would be that it's a benefit not only to the groundwater, but it actually is a benefit to the, to the orchard itself. It may be a good thing, you know, I mean, you're, you're running that risk, but I, I look at it as it's a risk worth taking if it becomes a benefit and can help a lot of people with the groundwater.